Welcome to Fox 8 Sports Saturday. I'm Alex Rose. It's the game. The whole country and North Carolina has been waiting for for the second half of this season, and it didn't disappoint. Duke's lone senior Grayson Allen celebrating with his team, riddled with freshmen on senior night. Duke on a fast break here. Grayson Allen drives to the basket and gets the layup. Carolina's going to come back in transition. Theo Pinson gives it to Kenny Williams, who hits the three after a Duke turnover. It's Joel Berry nailing that jumper. Carolina had the lead for most of the game until this three right here from Trent Jr. Once Duke got the lead, they never looked back. Here's back to back threes from Trent Jr. and Wendell Carter. Minute and a half left in the game. Trevion Duvall gives the alley oop to Marvin Bagley. After an amazing career at Duke, Coach K pulls Allen for the last time at home. It's an emotional night. For sure, Duke wins it against Carolina, 74 to 64. Now just down the road in Raleigh, the Wolfpack trying to make a statement to wrap up the season. Big matchup against Louisville. Both teams fighting for a spot in March Madness. Couple minutes into the game, Dang Adel gives the alley-oop to Anas Muhammad. Good defense from Louisville. Dwayne Sutton steals the ball right there and takes it all the way for the slam, later on, check out Omar Yurt 7 hits this three. You just can't leave him open, folks. State was hot tonight. Another three, this time from Braxton Beverly. Game's going to be tied right here at 18. Second half action, Torin Dorn gets the one-handed floater to go in. State in transition, Alaric Freeman feeds it to Dorn, and he sinks the layup. Seven and a half left in the game. Braxton Beverly hits this three. Boom! Giving State a nine point lead. State's going to keep that lead and win against Louisville. Final is 76 to 69. Let's see if these teams can make some noise in the tournament. Here's State's head coach. I thought it, our defense was as sharp as it's been in a long time, meaning that we were locked in on the defensive end. Even when we wasn't scoring the ball in the first half, I thought our defense was good. Sticking with the ACC, Wake Forest taking on Georgia Tech in this matchup. First quarter action, Brandon Alston. He's wide open out there, unguarded for the three. That shot is money. Next play, Wake responds with a three of their own from Brandon Childress. So this is going to be an intense game. Look at those dance moves. Now you got Georgia Tech. The ball is stolen. It's Josh Okogi with the reverse. Nice slam dunk to the second half after an offensive rebound. Mitchell Will Belkin hits the three pointer. Wake's going to go up by one here. Georgia Tech on the fast break. Jackson hits the underhanded layup to put Tech up by three. The game's winding down. Evan Cole makes this layup right here. Georgia Tech's going to have a six point lead. Georgia Tech keeping that lead. Wins against Wake 64 to 56. Now, the other ACC teams closing out their season. Virginia does look like the team to beat this year. Finishing the regular season with a win over Notre Dame 62 to 57. And a close game in upstate New York as the Syracuse defense clamps down on ranked Clemson, beating the Tigers by just three points. And if this weekend wasn't enough for you, we got more ACC Hoops action coming your way. Don't miss our ACC Tournament Special Monday night, March 5th. It gets going at 1030, and you know you're only going to find this kind of coverage right here on Fox 8. It's been a big year for the UNCG Spartans, heading into the Southern Conference Tournament with the number one seed, Took them some time, but they acted like it down the stretch. Here's a strong drive in the paint, dishing inside to Garrett Collins. That's an easy layup, layup and a great top one right there. The Bulldogs respond with a shot from beyond the arc. The Citadel making it an even game in the first half. Wes Miller, he's got to keep his team composed, bringing in that high energy with the coach. They go back to the fundamentals. Great ball movement here. Caden Rice knocking that three down from downtown. And it's back and forth from the three-point line. You're going to see the Citadel sink that shot right there. And the tournament's over in Asheville. But in the end, it's a strong rebounding effort by the Spartans. Great defense and offensive boards. This guy right here, he's going to end the game with a double-double as UNCG runs away with it down the stretch. The final score, Spartans 72, Bulldogs 58. Coach really happy with that second half. I wanted to make sure we were really focused. Thought we had some jitters in the first half. Uh, 
which is good. I mean, if you didn't have a pulse to play in the conference tournament, uh, then, then you're probably not alive inside. So I thought we had some jitters, but I thought we settled down like the last 18 minutes. I didn't like us the first two minutes of the second half. We just got lucky they missed. But I thought we settled down the last 18 minutes of the game and started doing some of the things that we've been able to do for most of the year defensively. Now let's get back to the ACC because we love when games are here in Tournament Town in Greensboro. It's NC State taking on Louisville in the ACC Women's Semifinals. Louisville with the ball. Bianca Durham drives to the basket for the bucket. Stayed up by one. Later on, State's Kiara Leslie takes it to the hoop. She had nine points and five rebounds. Very good overall game. State here on the fast break. The ball goes out wide in transition and the three is good. Second quarter, Louisville inbounding the ball and it's Allen hitting that jumper. Good team play from Louisville after a couple passes. The ball's going to go out to Jasmine Jones. She nails the layup. Now we'll go to five minutes left here in regulation. Erica Carter steps up, knocks down the three for the cards. Louisville beats NC State 64-59. The number one team will play Notre Dame in the finals tomorrow at 2 o'clock. We're just going to enjoy this right now, and then we'll get focused finding out who we're going to play after this next game. But we're going to enjoy this win right now. It was a hard-fought win. NC State's a great basketball club. I mean, there's no doubt in my mind, and, 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 and NC State should be hosting the first and second rounds of, of the NCAA tournament. Now we're going to move on to high school ball. Big game for number two seed Smith High School taking on number one seed Cox Mill in the nightcap. Smith set the tone for this game from the start. Jalen Ganey with the dunk and the foul to go. The Eagles were playing some stingy defense though on Cox Mill. Cameron Hayes with the steal and he motors past one defender for the layup. Smith's head coach Derek Partee really liking what he sees so far in the first half. Smith again on a break. Let's give it to the big guy. Jalen Gamble muscled his way in for two right there. And what about that outside game? Oh yeah, the Eagles have one. Cameron Hayes drops a long ball from three in the corner, but the Eagles couldn't stop Rakshawn Black from draining threes. This kid was unstoppable. He's going to attend UNC next year. He's going to be somebody to look out for. Smith goes down tonight. The final, Cox Mill 61, Smith 48. Eastern Guilford men traveling down to Fayetteville State University and playing the number one seed Northside Jacksonville, who's undefeated, by the way. Now Eastern's main man, Montez Venable, the guy you're seeing cutting through right there. He was scoring from in and out, just couldn't be stopped. Here, Montez drives to the baseline, then stops and pops for another two points. He had 39 points for the day. He did have some help from his good friend Dominique Graves. Here, scoring off the fast break. Eastern was down by 13 points in the second half, but they had a shot to win right here at the end of the game. Venable with the ball and shot just shy, just a little short. The final Northside Jacksonville takes it 73, Eastern Guilford 71. 26 and 3, Winston Salem Prep taking on Lincoln Carter. First half, Justice Goodell knocks down the three ball for the Phoenix. He led the team with 18 points in the game. Later on, check out Chaz Gwynn. He hits that tray. Gwynn gets 14 points for the Phoenix off the inbound pass. KJ Watson gets in the paint for the bucket. Watson's going to get eight points off the bench. Second half, Davian Williamson on the drive as he gets into the lane and hits the floater. Williamson with 17 points today as Winston Salem Prep gets the win over Lincoln Carter. 69 to 53 is the final. They get their shot at the state title next weekend as they take on Pamlico County. And it's do or die for women's ball as high school teams. They're trying to make their cut for the state championship next week. Which teams are going to pull it out and which ones didn't make the cut? That's coming up for you right after the break.